Hey friends, it's Gloria and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be another 2022 TBR and that is for the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge created by Chantelle Reads All Day. I will link her original video down below. This is a year-long challenge very similar to Buzzwordathon where there is a theme or word for every month. So I will be going through all of the 12 prompts with my possibilities for each of those months. So for January, the word is quiet. So I could read Quiet by Susan Kane. This is a very popular nonfiction about introverts, the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. I haven't seen too many people praise this book. It is just on all of those like must read nonfiction lists, but I do have it and I do want to read it and I consider myself an introvert. January may be the time. However, if I'm not feeling a nonfiction, I could pick up Peace Like a River by Leif Anger. That peace and quiet go together. This is a historical fiction I think originally saw on Krista from Books and Jam's channel. She praised it and said it was really good. This is a coming of age story, a family story. I think there is an element of spirituality and faith mixed throughout. Although this is technically not a Christian fiction, I think that is woven in the story. For February, the month of love is to read a book with love in the title. I have quite a few. Most of them were all nonfiction, but the one that made its way towards the top of the list is Laundry Love, Finding Joy in a Common Chore by Patrick Richardson. This is a memoir and a self-help book, and it just sounds very sweet and fun. And I actually do enjoy laundry out of all of the chores. The one that is my least favorite is dishes. So if you know a good book about that, let me know. For March, the prompt is growth. So that could be grow in the title. It could also be kind of a theme in the book. So it could be a person coming of age, so they're growing up, or it could be nature writing, elements of growing things. But I picked a classic and that is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This is all about a garden where many things grow. So I thought that it would work well. And March is also the beginning of spring. So I feel like that could work. And I read the graphic adaptation of this in 2021 and loved it so I really hope to pick up the original classic and this is also on my 12 classics to read in 2022 so I will get to it at some point but hopefully in March. The next month is April and probably the most challenging prompt is to read a book with all of your initials in the title. So my initials are G, Z, and T, Gloria Zeitz of Thompson. I had to find a book with all of that and Z is a hard letter but I did find one book and that is The Atlas of Poetic Zoology. I can't remember where I first saw this book but whoever was on booktube really praised it and I believe it has like beautiful illustrations inside as well. I actually took zoology classes as my science courses in college. I remember my professor being very disappointed that I was not a zoology science major but instead went the business and marketing route but I had a lot of fun in that class and I feel like this would be a fun book. For May the prompt is to read a new to you author. I created a whole video so please go check that out but just a few that I would love to read is Mark Sullivan. This is The Last Green Valley, his newest release. Also have Beneath the Scarlet Sky on my list. Isabel Allende, this is a long petal of the sea, a historical fiction writer that I really hope to get to. I just need to read Amor Tolls, A Gentleman in Moscow particularly, would love to get to it. And I'm also interested to pick up a Jodi Picot. This is the storyteller. I also have a few other ones on my shelf as well. Again, that video, I have a lot more listed. It really could be, could be any of those. In June, the prompt is to read a book with a book on the cover, and that could be The Woman in the Library, which is a book that I mentioned in my 2022 anticipated releases. This is a mystery thriller set in the Boston Library, a bit of a whodunit. And then another possibility is this historical fiction, and that is The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson, a book that I really hope to get to. This is historical fiction about the Peck Horse Library. I've heard incredible things. Next up for July, the prompt is to read a book that you have been avoiding, but you actually really want to read, and that has got to be a classic, particularly The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I want to read this book forever. It's one of my favorite movies. I know I'm gonna love it. I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, but 2022 is the year. For August, the prompt is to read a book with a body part in the title. I had a hard time with this one. I really have like no books on my TBR that have that. Maybe a couple non-fictions, but I wasn't really interested in them at the moment. But this one that I do have, I can't remember where I first heard of it, and that is Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. This is a mystery thriller psychological suspense although it doesn't look like it, right? It looks like a romance novel. A girl in high school goes missing and then it jumps ahead to the future. And I think the mystery of what happened to her is beginning to unravel based on the people that were in her life and who could have been involved in her disappearance. Sounds interesting. I don't know who has read it, but if you have, let me know. Or if you have any other books that could work for this prompt, also let me know because I'm on the lookout if this one doesn't work out. For September, the prompt is to read a collection. It could be a collection of essays, a collection of short stories, a collection of poetry. I'm leaning towards 
towards either collection of poetry, whatever one that could be. I don't have one in mind yet. But the other one that I really want to read is a short story collection, and that could be really any of Sherlock Holmes' short stories. I have been meaning to read Sherlock Holmes. I've watched a different movie or TV adaptations and enjoyed them, but I don't know really where to start. So if you are a Sherlock Holmes fan, please let me know what short story or what short story collection I should start with. For October, the word is secret. I have two books that could work. The first one is Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner. She has the potential to become a favorite author. I've read one of her books, Nature of Fragile Things, and loved it. I have a few other ones of hers that I hope to read on my shelf, this one being one of them. Set in 1940s in England about a woman who wants to be a fashion designer and somehow, you know, World War II and that kind of storyline collide, but I've heard great things. The other one is The Baker's Secret by Stephen P. Kiernan. This is also a World War II historical fiction set in Normandy, France. I'm assuming about a baker who's maybe hiding Jews or maybe part of the resistance, not entirely sure, but this one has been on my TBR for quite a bit. Next up for November, the prompt is to read a book that makes you feel cozy or nostalgic. I don't really know what that is. I don't know what books create that feeling. The only books that I know that would do that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, a book I just read recently and loved it. All the cozy nostalgic vibes. And also Harry Potter gives all the cozy nostalgic vibes. But I don't want to reread a book. I want to read a new one. But the one that I did pick is Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. I loved Rebecca. Cousin Rachel was okay. I liked it, but had some problems with it. I do want to read more of her works. And I don't know anything about Jamaica Inn, but I want to kind of go in blind. Could give me cozy nostalgic vibes because it is a classic and it is a gothic kind of mystery vibe. But if you do have any recommendations for a cozy nostalgic book, let me know what that could be. I'm thinking classic. I'm thinking mystery. Could also be like a really sweet family story. I will take any recommendations. And then finally for December, the prompt is to read a book that is mostly white on the cover. The only book that's on my TBR that really fits that prompt is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Pears, which is an author that I also want to get to in 2022. And this is a mystery thriller, supposedly this perfect marriage, but behind closed doors, what's really going on? A domestic thriller, I've heard good things. So that's it. Those are my possibilities for the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. It's going to be a great reading year. Please let me know again, any recommendations for the prompts that I asked for. Need your help. I appreciate you guys watching, tuning in, spending time with me. I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye!